pag-usapan natin ang feelings mo. Bam! How have you been? How are you holding up, sapiens? Today, check it on yourself. Maybe you are feeling sad these days or maybe you are a little bit anxious about something. Or perhaps you could be stressed about a project at work. Or you are angry at someone that makes you feel and think that you will not ever, ever forgive. As in, ever. Welcome back, Sapiens. If you are new to my channel, please do not skip the act. <laughs> Biro lang, not monetized yet. But seriously speaking, if you're new to my channel, please show some love by subscribing and tapping the bell icon here. Yeah. So don't skip. You know, feelings are tricky. At alam ko lahat tayo meron yan. And all of our feelings and emotions are valid. Ang mga nararamdaman natin, they help us connect with others. Take action, make decisions, survive danger, and so on. Pero paano kung dahil sa feelings natin, tayo ay malalagay sa panganin o alinganin? Paano kung inaasahan lang natin yung feelings natin na mag-dictate ng ating reality or response kung saan hindi naman talaga swak o akma doon sa sitwasyon? Ayon ng examples kanina, I might power to make or break our perspective sa buhay. If you think you are sad, then you are sad. If you think you are a failure, then you are a failure. It is like setting yourself up to really get what you are thinking. So, ang feelings natin ay may kaugnayan sa iniisip natin. At kung ibe-base natin ang ating response ayon sa iniisip natin, as in immediately at walang assessment, we are doing what the experts say, emotional reasoning. Ako, Sapiens, as your emotional friend, I also felt the same way. We grow through different phases of life, Diba. Alam mo, minsan din, my feelings get heightened in an instant, leading me to react or perceive my life in a way that may not always be the most beneficial. We can get into some negative thought processes as a result of our emotions, but it's important to make the distinction that thoughts and feelings are separate, although they influence each other greatly. It's all about building awareness and noticing the role of our emotions play in our lives. By becoming clearer on the role of our feelings, we can begin to build emotional intelligence, which some people call EQ. So, triggered ka. <laughs> Isa ito sa mga nakakaasar at nakakapikon na reaction ng ating mga kaibigan, lalo pat kung galit ka at lalo pat kung totoo yung sinisabi nila, di ba? <laughs> anyway, when you pay attention to your emotions, may greater flexibility ka in how to act on them. Identify mo kung ano yung nag-trigger sa'yo by asking these three questions. First question, what event triggered my emotion? Example, bakit ako nagalit? Bakit ako nagselos? Bakit ako nanugkot? Number two, what assumptions am I making about this event? You may say to yourself, nagalit ako dahil hindi niya sinagot tao ko. Baka andun kasi yung may crush ka niya. Kaya sabihin mo, nagselos ako dahil mas importante sa kanya ang mga kaibigan niya. Or you may say, nalungkot ako dahil hindi niya ako priority. Third question, does my emotion and its intensity match the facts of the situation or does it just match my assumptions of the situation? Okay, you can you can tell to yourself, tama ba? Tama bang nagalit ako? Alam ko ba lahat ng nangyari sa kanya nung oras na yun? 
Kapag natanong mo na ito sa sarili mo, it will step you out of yourself and look at the situation more wholly before reacting. O, oh, di ba? At hindi siya easy sa una. As in, mabigat mahirap siya sa una. As in, birth pains, kumbaga. Pero good news, kapag lagi mo itong ginagawa, kapag intentional ka, as in, you mindfully meet your feelings head on, so head on, the greater the sense of control you will start to feel in your life. And if you are like me, breathing exercise ang kailangan talaga. We need to be centered again, we need to be grounded before tayo mag-react. <laughs> Nasaktan ako dun. <laughs> Even I, not perfect. You know, all are a work in progress. Pero ang importante, we need to improve kung saan tayo maghina. Kaya nga siguro, nanonood ka pa rin hindi ngayon. <laughs> Thank you! Pero seryoso, dahil na rin siguro gusto mong maging mas maayos, a better person or a better version of yourself. Your feelings are temporary. Uulitin ko, lalo na ang mga mahihirap at magbibigat na pakiramdam. Aside dun sa tatlong trigger questions, pwede mo rin gamitin ang RAIN technique. temporary and don't define us. By noticing our feelings and investigating them, we allow ourselves to fully move through them. Recognize how you're feeling and explore what it could be telling you with kindness and care. Remember that your feelings don't define you. So, don't let your feelings get the best of you. So, hanggang sa muli. See you in the next mga kaibigan. Thank you for joining me today. Have a good one.